Why, hello there. My name is Freckress, and welcome back to Let's Play Dream Daddy. Amanda has come home incredibly late, and I need to do a stern talking to her. So we gotta gotta get to the the lecture. We gotta do the dad lecture. It's happening because you, you can't you can't come home two hours late. It's just that's not really acceptable. You gotta call me at least. You gotta call me and let me know. All right. So sup, sweetie? Thank God you're safe. Ugh. Uh, yeah. Da, da, da. But now that sh I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't she answer my texts? Amanda pulls her phone out of her pocket. Oh, oh whoops, I guess I didn't see those. She starts to walk to her room. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Amanda Ann! Hmm? Whoa, we're pulling out the middle name now? Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew and you don't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Mm. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? I don't like your attitude. I have a right to be concerned. I was scared. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're my only daughter. You're my only family right now. Aww. Well, I can't give you a play-by-play -play of everything I do all the time. I'm 18. You shouldn't even be giving me a curfew in the first place. Uh... Uh, my house. My rules. Okay. <laughs> I sit down on the couch and I put my ha head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just, please don't do it again. Oh. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna go to bed now. Jeez. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. Aww. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey, Aww. I thought about what you said last night. Mm. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. Mm. I'm really sorry, Pops. I, wouldn't, I won't do it again. Well, sorry for freaking out on you. I trust you to make good choices. Good. <laughs> I trust you. I'm trusting you. I love you. Damn it. <laughs> I also thought about it, and I'll try to give you spa space from here on out. I gotta trust that you're gonna take care of yourself. Huh? Team Dudester. Team Dudester. Huh. Manny gives me a hug. Want some eggs? <laughs> you know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them. Already did. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Manny scarfs down the eggs, and in the time it takes me to wash the pan... Oh, in the time that I, it took me to wash the pan. Alright, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's dead book? Oh. Uh, it's a small media platform. A social media platform. It's not small, it's huge! It's multi-million dollars! <laughs> dead book. <laughs> Wait. Hmm. What? What's a social media platform? <laughs> Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. Huh. Alright, I'll help you sound interesting on the oh. internet. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile on da dad book, which as it turns out is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Alright, Pops. I got. We gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some d likes and dislikes. So I'm gonna have that heart thing for myself now. <laughs> on a Friday night, you're most likely to... Oh, polish and sort my coin collection. Yeah, I got a coin collection. Netflix and grill, baby. Fall asleep watching the History Channel, torment my children with dad puns, sink into blissful oblivion. Um, hmm, am I an interesting dad or am I a not interesting dad? Uh, I don't know. But I do that every night. <laughs> uh, uh, probably watching the History Channel. <laughs> if you had one thing to take with you in the, to a desert island, what would it be? A boat? <laughs> uh, my trusty grill. The lost shaker of salt. A castaway on DVD for instructional purposes. <laughs> a boat, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't- I don't need anything. My survival skills have trained me for this day. A boat. <laughs> what are your turn-ons? Strong dad arms, tennis shoes with long white socks, well manicured lawn, street smarts, top-tier grillmanship, uh, comfortable with crying. 
Um, street smarts. Yeah, you get get us into that concert without having to actually pay. <laughs> and, and a little bit of larceny. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grew up? Technical writer for manuals and instructionals. Yep, that's every child's dream. Salty boat captain, pro skater who's also an- that's me. <laughs> I actually have a shirt of an astronaut doing a kickflip. Oh, that's definitely me. A good father, the president of space. <laughs> What's your favorite movie genre? Um... War documentaries, Sean Connery, Sean Connery's entire filmography. <laughs> Anything on laser disc, romantic comedies, whatever will make me cry. Old comedies that haven't aged well. <laughs> Old comedies that you can't make today. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> What's your ideal date? Napping together. <laughs> that is, I am down to nap anytime. <laughs> Doing a thousand piece puzzle together, eating a healthy dinner at 4 p.m., trying to geocache but getting hopelessly lost, arson, <laughs> being emotionally vulnerable. Um, yeah, arson. Let's go burn stuff. <laughs> Napping together. That's me. <laughs> what do you never leave home without? A sensible cardigan, my sick vape bruh, book of word jumbles and a pen, a cool knife, my cripplingly low self-esteem, I frequently forget my phone keys and wallet at home sometimes. Um, well I mean you can't leave home without your phone keys and wallet, but I also can't leave home without a cool knife. Gotta show it to my friends, and show it to my enemies too. <laughs> Spent a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories, how proud I am of my child, potential ends of the world, if I'll ever be able to love myself as much as I love my grill, when I can get a my next cup of coffee, lawnmower modifications. I spend a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories. There's no joke. <laughs> I don't. I don't think they're right. I just think about them. <laughs> Profile complete. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. You should message one of them, one, or more than one of them. All of those dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. Manda gives me a hug. Go get him, Dad. Oh, just cut Hello. the music. You got dads. I've got dads. <laughs> Hi, dads. Uh, well, hello, Robert. <laughs> when the internet gains sentience and decides to destroy us all, you'll know it. Use this information against us. You know it'll use this information against us, right? Make it on a Friday night. I like to make a deal in an alleyway. Have it go badly. Who's the cop? Was it Gle G G What was it? G G Como Gashomo? Trust Gashomo. I don't know what this means. <laughs> Desert Island gun. <laughs> this is a meme. <laughs> <laughs> Rope, flint, steel, and gun. <laughs> what are your turn-ons? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to you as a turn-on. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? To, what did you want to be when you grew up? A grifter. What's your favorite movie genre? Italian neorealism. What's your ideal date? Grave robbing. Yeah, let's go rob a grave to, at your local uh, graveyard. <laughs> At least four knives. Oh, he's got me. I'm I'm one knife dad on account of me having one knife. He is four knife dad on account of him having four knives. <laughs> Spent a lot of time thinking about. You ever really look into a rabbit animal's eyes? Well, all right. Uh, you're strange. <laughs> you look good, but you sound weird. <laughs> Let's talk. Look up Brian. Hey, I'm Brian. I spend most of my days hanging out with my awesome daughter and thinking up new ways to grill things. If you're like fishing, then we'll get along. Friday night, I will just see how slowly I can cook a piece of brisket. I mean, the slower the better. It's mm, perfection. One thing to a desert island, a fishing pole. Good idea. Get some food. Turn on a keen understanding of steak cuts. Um, I know about filet mignon and... T-Bone, uh, New York, New York Strip, and, um, steak. <laughs> so, <laughs> you wanted to be a fireman when he grew up, awesome. Loves romantic comedies, ideal date is deck building. Man, you want me to work on a date? Nah, we're chilling, bro. <laughs> Never leave home without a portable fishing pole. You never know when you come across a stream. 
where you can fish. <laughs> Don't fish in the sewer, that's just poop. <laughs> Spent a lot of th time thinking about how my daughter is smarter than I am. Aww. Avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker, you can find me most days selling bean juice over at the Coffee Spoon or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up about 80s no wave music. What is no wave? No wave music. What? They they just come on stage and they're like they're like hey, but they don't wave. They just, just right into playing. <laughs> Cause you're like hey hey yeah yeah well, how well, how's it going Orlando blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, no wave. <laughs> Sorry. Friday night. Perfect. Uh, perfect my cold brew setup, one drip at a time, baby. If you had one thing to take on a desert island, fine tunes to pass the day, the days. You have fine tunes, but if you have nothing to play it or nothing to recharge what you're playing, you might be SOL, buddy. Multi instrumentalism. Oh, okay. Being able to play more than one instrument. Well, yeah, not me. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I can barely play guitar. <laughs> what did you want to be? A barista? Weirdly enough favorite movie genre shit with subtitles anything foreign he's just for it cool so we're gonna watch uh, crouching tiger yeah <laughs> ideal date go to animal shelter seriously consider adopting a cat and then turn away crying because they can't afford another cat but they're all just they're in their home <laughs> yeah, i'm sorry um, <laughs> Well, never leave home without my headphones, both in-ear and over-ear, just in case. You gotta have two pairs, you gotta have a backup. Cause you can look cool, or you can be portable. There's, 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 there are pros and cons. Where did writing commas into song titles come from, and where did it go? <laughs> where did you go from, Comet, Comet Guy Joe? <laughs> did we all just agree that's a bad idea? <laughs> Are you talking about- you're talking about, uh, Panic at the Disco? Did Panic at the Disco piss you off? It's okay. They're- they're still good songs, even though they're, like, four feet long. <laughs> the, the- the- the titles. Dad of three, business entrepreneur and fitness enthusiast. Juggling work, family, fitness, or and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's gotta do it. Friday night, get one last good cardio sesh in. Bring energy bars, turn on sub six minute mile. Oh, damn. I mean, that's hot. You do a, a mile in less than six minutes. Nice. <laughs> um, what did you want to be when you grew up? The beer pong world champion. When did you want to be that? Like when you were 17? Like when you not grew up yet at 17? I mean, yeah, no. Doing keg stands, no. <laughs> but, you know. Anyway, uh, favorite movie genre, buddy cop movies forever. Heck yeah, buddy. <laughs> I'll be your buddy, buddy. <laughs> Ideal date, scaling a huge dangerous mountain for fun. How about, how about we go with Rock Mountain Wall and work up from that? Because I, you know, equipment that I know won't fail, like, has a 99% chance of not failing. Like, there is that 1%, but it's so rare because you check it before you get... And, I mean, you check your, your mountain equipment, but you don't know if you're in there all the way. You don't know if there's a hairline fracture that's gonna make you fall to your death. You just don't know. Check... Check your mountain climbing stuff because that's... It's dangerous shit. I mean, congrats that you can do that, but no. Uh -uh. Not, not me. No mountain climbing. Sorry. Um... Don't leave without an extra tube of energy gel? It's like an energy bar or energy food of some kind. Spent a lot of time thinking about my mile time. Used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? You, you have children. You don't have as much time to work out. It's okay. You're doing fine, sweetie. <laughs> Joseph... Voted Maple Bay's number one youth minister for five years running, living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out on the open water, setting sail on the seas of adventure. I love playing guitar and cr crushing my kids at Candyland. Crushing my kids at Candy Crush is what I thought he was going to say. Candyland. Um, uh, that game's just all luck. You just pull the color cards and move to it. It's a little weird. Friday night, lead the community in a fun mixer. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, had to take an uh, instrument, or had to take a thing. He'd take his six string guitar. Turn ons, my loving wife. Well, that's nice. Uh, that's a good turn on. 
What did you want to be, a ship captain? Yeah, I mean, with all your anchor motifs, I could see that. Favorite movie genre, feel good movies. Ideal date, lovely night I I'm my with my wife. Okay, well, I mean, okay. Um, never leave without a good book. Spend a lot of time thinking about how I can be a better man, husband, and father. Um, middle school teacher, high school teacher, writer of scholarly articles on 18th century literature for various esteemed publications. If you're on here to tell me that my son put a cherry bomb in your trash, I know, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Friday night, brew some strong tea and paint my miniatures. Oh, you got miniatures? Like, are you, are you into planes or, like, cars? Maybe, maybe battleships? Like, what are you painting, bro? I'd love to see it. <laughs> Desert Island, Remembrance of Things Past by Marcel Proust. One book, you would take a book. And then you would be very sad when that book gets ruined by the elements. <laughs> I'll be sad for you from far away while I'm trying to rescue you, I suppose. <laughs> Turn-ons are muscles? Well, I'm out. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grew up? A movie star? Oh, nice. I mean, you, you, got the, you got the looks, you got the chops, you gotta have the chops to have, it, to have the job. You can look like a you can look like a shoe and still get a get a good acting, but you gotta, you gotta be able to act. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, documentaries on art history, favorite movie genre. All right, you get you get some di documentaries. I don't know why I said it that way, but <laughs> okay. Um, ideal day. Each of us read a different book on opposite sides of the couch in comfortable silence. Aww. Uh, why, why not read the same book and maybe have a conversation over it? That'd be kind of cool. Like, I'd love to, like, read it chapter by chapter and be like, okay. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> like, just kind of keep going. And I know that, like, y there'd be parts where, like, oh, oh, I can't stop at the end of this chapter. I gotta keep going. But still, it'd be really fun to talk about that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just me. <laughs> what do you never leave home without? My glasses. I actually forget them at home a lot. Oh. How can you forget your glasses? <laughs> I'm blind as fuck, so when I wake up, I put them on, and I they don't come off until until they get knocked off on accident, or I take them off when I'm like in taking a shower, going to bed. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> I don't lose my glasses. <laughs> Spent a lot of time thinking about. I worry that people who are against e-readers are more in love with the idea of books than actually reading them. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I see what you're talking about. I mean, you can... E-readers are a good tool because you can bring like seven or eight books. Actually, you can bring like 70 or 80 books with you <laughs> at once. And and you don't have to worry about ruining your paper. I mean, you can drop the, the e-reader and, uh, and completely lose it. But, I mean, I don't know, like... There's a fondness of paper, but there's also a, a good use for ebooks. And Damien. How you doing, Damien? How do you do? I have finally decided to join this information superhighway. I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I will try my best to understand. I love long strolls through graveyards and spending time with my son. If you would ever like to chat about the latest in Victorian fashion, the inevitability of your own demise, or black cats, please send me a letter. Black cats are the best, bro. They are... I, I know everyone's like superstitious about them, but every black cat I've ever met has been like the coolest freaking cat. Like I can see why witches would have them as their familiars because they just are like, "Hey, what you doing? That's cool. Can you pet me?" <laughs> like they're not they're not super demanding, but they're not like super aloof either. Like they're they're just good cats. I miss my buddy Buck. He was a good kitty. <laughs> anyway, um Take one thing with you, a coffin. I mean, yeah, you're gonna die eventually. Might, might as well be prepared! <laughs> Pronouncing bosom correctly. <laughs> and bosom? Bossom. Isn't bosom with two S's? I don't remember. <laughs> is, is bosom? Like, I don't... Uh. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grew up? A bat. Oh, are you a furry? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite movie genre for an art house horror? Good stuff. Ideal date? It's night. We are at an industrial dark wave club in Berlin. The music drums to the beat of our hearts. <laughs> Will you never leave home without an upside down cross? What if it's just a regular cross and you're just carrying it the wrong way? Or maybe, no, what if it's an upside down cross and you just, you're accidentally carrying it the wrong way? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I spent a lot of time thinking about mortality salience. 
Is that like the fleetingness of life? I don't I don't know. Okay, so we've looked through all the dead books. Oh, I, I have to send them a message. Oh, okay. I, I guess I will send Robert a message real quick. Message. <laughs> He's my first choice. <laughs> but I have a feeling that uh, it's just going to be... I don't know. It'll probably be Craig. Yeah. Maybe maybe Craig. But I'll message Robert and we'll see what, we, what happens. Robert was pretty nice, a little odd, but nice, and regularly handsome. We should hang out. I type out a message to him on Dadbook. Hey, Robert, good seeing you again at the cookout. Wanna grab a drink? I sit there for a couple seconds, hoping he'll message me back. He just, he's probably not gonna message me back for a while. <laughs> Seems like one of those guys. Hey, it says that he read my message. I anxiously wait for a response. Told my thumbs, watch cat videos on the internet. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Sit down, I start down a rabbit hole of cat videos and Robert quickly vanishes from my mind. I didn't realize how long I've been doing this, but by the time I watch maybe my 30th cat video, Robert pops back into my head. I jump back over to Dad Book to see if he's responded yet. Nothing. Well, I guess the guy's busy. Might as well t make the best of my day. I get up, walk to the living room, and sit down and turn on the TV. <laughs> so I've spent maybe f f 20 minutes watching cat videos, and now I'm just gonna sit down and watch TV. <laughs> Don't I have a job? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my day in the next video, so thank you very much for watching. Check out annotations for other videos that I've done. Share, subscribe, and socialize, and all the other fun stuff in the YouTubes down there. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video, and my freckly face is out of here. Bye!